Now, he's so young, but he's got so much fire. He's got a lot of experience going up against the best that there is in this division. And he will example more of that today, getting to team up with Yoshinari Ogawa. Yeah, no handshakes there. No, not even an intention to do so uh, from both Hidaka and Suzuki. So here we go then. We have Ikuto Hidaka, Yasutaka Yano to kick things off in this tag team matchup in the junior heavyweight division. Yeah, Hidaka, you could even call him, he's like almost, not almost, like very truly a, a tag team specialist. Uh, have had many beautiful tags with several members, had a very legendary one in, in the independent uh, circuit of Japan with uh, Mr. Fujita at one point. So, uh, in tag matches, he might be the most dangerous. That's right, and of course, uh, talent. All three members that are in this matchup with Yano, hugely experienced. He's given up all that experience. He's only 20 years old. Hidaka, for example, is 48. Masterful technique, submissions, very well-rounded is Hidaka. Held championships, many different companies across Japan. It's a good test now for Yano. What can he produce? What can he give himself today? We'd like to see yeah. an encouraging display for him. Yeah, and also like in those opening exchanges, no matter how much you train, like I, I can speak from my own personal experience, a good match, a good exchange, especially depending on when you wrestle, how you wrestle and who you wrestle, even more so, can give you so much more than like months and months of training, no matter how good at your moves you do, your attitude, your confidence, what you wanna show, what, what you wanna get, what you do, like what do you want to take across as a wrestler means and conveys a lot more and takes you a lot more in front, like ahead of your career than a training would ever do. So like, as you can see, Yano is in the phase of his career where he wants to move, he wants to show the, uh, the veteran, like I can do this. And the veteran is like, okay, yeah. I, I know you have youth, I know you have energy, I know you can move all day in right now, but I'm gonna do what is necessary. What I do has no fat on it. I will only do and only move and only expend the amount of energy that is necessary. And that's where you see wrestlers, you, you, you see like the, the movements of wrestlers become crisp. I think that's what they mean by crisp. Yeah, that's very well said, Aki. And I think it's all about ring time for someone like Yano. But now we've mixed things up here. We've got Ogawa and Suzuki, both former members of Stinger. It was Ogawa that kicked Stinger member Suzuki out of his own group. These two have had quite the rivalry in recent months. Renewing acquaintances here today. Ooh. Good connection there. Oh, look at that smartness, like, that ring I'm, awareness. That's when you see like, no matter what you do, if, if your opponent goes one step ahead, all you can do is go two. That's all you can do. From next to the next goes these two. Easy, smooth, a well-oiled machine that has been through this route many a times, and they will be through it today as well. Ah, great escape from Suzuki, straight back on the attack. Back comes o Ogawa as well, they know each other so well. Uh, and Ogawa moving even less than Suzuki. Suzuki has still beautiful movements and taking it out, and Ogawa is, I'm just gonna wait here, you come to me. Yeah, that's why uh, strategy from Ogawa. Veteran moves. Yeah, to he's, the point. he's such a good technician. Now we see Suzuki trying to keep control. Back comes Ogawa. The wrist lock, taking him around the back. Got two hands on now. Suzuki over. Here comes Ogawa. He's still got a degree of quickness, even at 54. But look yeah. at Suzuki. He's got Chris. control of the wrist. Two hands on. He is holding to that wrist for dear life. He will not let go. Every time Ogawa throws him, he wrenches his own, his own arm because Og Suzuki won't let go. He just won't. And every time he tries to throw him, every time he does something, it just add, it's, it pays dividends to what Suzuki is trying to do. And Suzuki might be taking, oh, and, and look at Ogawa now. Oh, the referee's the referee. in the middle of this one. That's not where no. you want to be with these two. They've been at loggerheads for months. Oh, I'm so impressed here with the work from Suzuki. Making special attention for the wrist of Ogawa. Ah, there it is. Rake of the eyes. Referee didn't see that one. You can't call what you don't see. 
really stellar opening to this one. Masterful work by Suzuki and Ogawa there. And tags in Yano now. Yano looking again. Heavy start from a new five minutes have passed in this contest in a blink of an eye. Here comes Hidaka on the offensive now. Good switch out there from Yano. Oh, Yano trying to hang on. Look how fluid the movement is there from Hidaka. Oh! Knees. Now he's going to put on some heat on him. Right to the small of the back of Yano. Yeah, just burning that shoulder up. Whoa! And of course, we have to note the size of Yano compared to the other members of this matchup. That's something that he will be stand against him in his career. But he can go against that. He can be deceptively quick. It's all a question of experience for the youngster. And this is what he's gaining in this one against Hidaka. Yeah, and if he needs to learn, there's no better example than Hidaka-san right there. Hidaka-san is a very relatively uh, small such a wrestler and has made an incredible um, name and, and, and a career out of his quickness and the things he can use. And not just in junior, but in any and every uh, wrestling uh, division he have wrestled. Have where he have wrestled uh, all kind of matches and have been able to be able to like really successful. Uh, no matter what kind of stretcher. So Yano, you know, if he wants to learn something, there's an example right there. Yeah, that's a very good point. Of course, Hidaka, huge experience. It was 15 years ago. He held the title of the GHE Junior Heavyweight Division with Minoru Fujita. Here goes Yano then. He's up against his idol now, Kotaro Suzuki. That's why he has the blue ring attire. Someone he wants to model himself on in this junior heavyweight division is Kotaro Suzuki. Have you been in that position, Aki, where you've wrestled against someone who you've admired for many years? Oh, many a times. It's, uh, it's a uniquely frustrating situation because you want to be there. You want to wrestle there. But there's two things that really gets to someone. Oh, oh, beautiful there by Yano. You don't see that European style old, uh, uh, old like Lexus as these days. Ogawa-san does uh, uh, every now and then. But when you are in front of somebody you admire, in front of somebody you want to impress, but you also don't want to lose. Yep. You, you don't want to go to the side where uh, you want to go extra hard, but you also don't want to look dumb. It's, it's a very, very difficult situation uh, as a wrestler. But there's no better place for a wrestler, a young wrestler to be, than to be in a ring and be uncomfortable. Because comfort never breeds new things. Comfort doesn't take you forward. Comfort doesn't get you better. Uncomfort, on the other hand, makes you better. The difficulties that you face is what keeps you forward. And if, we, if you, when you get in, uh, in front of a wrestler who you admire and nothing gets through, you don't get any feedback, you don't see them seeing you. They just see a figure. You don't have something in you yet that they can connect to and that frustrates you. But that uncomfortability is what makes you have that. So the next time you see them, they feel fear, anxiety. They feel hunger seeing at you. And I think those are the things that Yano needs to get in this match. And this is a very beautiful match for him to do so because everybody here is giving and showing a masterclass to him and in front of him. Yeah, As you see, Suzuki-san shows no interest there in Yano. Even though he just came in and tagged him, I was like, okay, we're trying to do it. I'll let you. Oh, what I'm focusing on is in front of me. That is, that was brutal. Looked like a low oh, blow there. It's a uh, very the smart one too. It. The referee can't do anything. That's almost an accident. Shoulder it's first. No Suzuki. intention there. Ogawa sends Suzuki shoulder first. There's the DDT from close distance. Plants him right there. Plants him. But not to be seen in the ring is a very hard, hard thing to swallow. But those hard things is what makes you tough. Here goes Ogawa. Suzuki gets up over the top. Oh. Good shot there from Suzuki. Good right hand. Ogawa reverses it. There it is. Elbow connects straight to the head of Ogawa. 
Suzuki now rolls out, tags Hidaka, and here he comes. Yeah, in comes the freshman Hidaka. Breaking the ice straight away, jawbreaker. Hidaka straight onto the knee. You look like you used to the hair there. Of Referee course. just warns him about that. Those type of tactics we expect. Shady tactics from Lost Power. Still mild there. Hop on. There we go. Jumps it under. Here's comes Hidaka. back. I'll be back. Beautiful movement kick. by Hidaka. Very fast work there from the 48 year old. He's still at the top of his game even now. Top of his game. Every veteran knows one thing. And I think every wrestler has a different timing to realize it. In professional wrestling, no matter what anybody says, results yeah, are what matters. These three have shown great longevity, but here's a man at a different stage of his career. Beautiful drop kick there, almost looked like a drop salt. He got so much onto that. He sends Hodaka into the ropes. Drop kick right on the money. The cover. And only two. If there's something Yano has way more than all three of them, and that is youth. He has the energy to just go on. It's a fisherman with a bridge. Oh, beautiful bridge there. And what a kick out by Hidaka. Smacks him in the stomach, breaks his bridge, and kicks out easy. Yeah, Didn't have to spend energy. Great point there. Excellent awareness from Hidaka. The youngster on top. Great flying crossbody. Kicks out. Beautiful form in there. Yano is feeling this now. He's looking for the upset. He wants to try and take down Hidaka. Here he goes. Brings him up. Nope. Hidaka looks to counter. It looked like a potential Fujiwara armbar. He rolls through. Oh. Look at that submission, that leg hook. There's Ogawa. He knew just how much pain Yano was in then. But Suzuki deals with him. Fast work by Ogawa-san to, to stop that. With knee bar from oh great insecurity yeah from but now it seems like Yano didn't get all of it that knee seems up. to be bothering him fractions away from there from a huge upset oh he, he comes back rolls, him up, he rolls him up can he do it oh, only two only two Yano now trying to finish it he seems away and he rolls it he rolls the shoulders are down oh that was so close that was almost a DDT before. Yano inches away from the biggest win of his young career Seeing the fighting spirit from him now, it's all about proving himself against these fantastic veteran members of the junior division. Hidaka comes back folded with the knee. him in half, folded him in half. Here comes Hidaka, brings him up straight down. Huge back body drop suplex. Is that it? Ah, oh, kicks up. Yano. Tremendous heart he's showing here, Yano. Sean Capture straight on the leg. Nobody's helping this time. Yano's in a world of trouble now. And yeah, he taps, he taps, he taps. He has to give up, the pain was too much. The short cap Beautifully applied as always. That's the trademark of Ikuta Hidaka. He's beaten some of the biggest names in Japan in the junior division with that technique. And it's a fine win for Lost Pearl Stel Mal, Dei Hapan, Katara Suzuki, and Ikuto Hidaka. Some words oh, of warning here from Ogawa. Noama! Ore da! Ichiban kakkoi pro desu. Koko ni arimasu. Buta! Frankenstein! Ringu! Koke hitose! Pro wrestling! Noa! Yeah! Rira! Noa! プロレス動画配信サービスレッスルユニバース様々なプロレスコンテンツが月額900円でいつでもどこでも見放題ここでしか見られない試合もプロレス見るならレッスルユニバース